Hello and welcome to Game of Box Office. Today we will analyze the box office run of Iron Man. Iron Man was released on May 2nd, 2008 in 4105 cinemas and ran until the 2nd October of 2008. It was produced by Paramount with a budget of $140 million and was rated PG-13. The movie opened to $98.6 million domestically and finished its run at $318.4 million. Adding the $266.7 million from overseas, Iron Man made a total of $585.2 million worldwide. Iron Man marked a start into the summer season of 2008 and managed to be a surprise hit. For the first 10 weekends, Iron Man did not once drop more than 50%. We have mentioned that factor in previous analysis and it is especially remarkable for a comic book screen adaption that relies on its existing fan base to do so well over a longer period of time. The 3.22 multiplier is also quite good considering the movie's budget and dependence on a certain audience. It has to be noted though that over the past 6 to 7 years, multipliers in general have become smaller because people now tend to watch movies as soon as they hit the theaters, leading to opening weekends becoming larger and larger. The $266.7 million from overseas seem rather little at first glance, but keep in mind that the international market as well as movies based on comic books have seen a huge growth in the past few years overseas. Another factor to remember is that the summer of 2008 had strong competition. Two weeks after Iron Man, The Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian was released and just another week after that Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Those movies did not hurt Iron Man and at that time the 300 million dollar mark was also an important milestone to take. What can be added? In the year 2008 the 98 million dollar opening weekend was the second largest for a non-sequel movie just after the first Spider-Man from 2002. Out of all movies it was on 10th place for opening weekends at that time. Furthermore, the casting of Robert Downey Jr. was rather bold since he was not exactly known to be a big seller. But the numbers speak for themselves and it was definitely the right move. Because Iron Man is based on a comic book we have to note that it is only as good as its villain. Batman had a Joker, Superman had Lex Luthor, Spider-Man had the Green Goblin and X-Men had Magneto. In the case of Iron Man, the villain is Iron Monger who might be well known amongst fans and comic book readers, but certainly not for the normal viewer. We could continue this list much longer, but to sum up we can say that many factors were not in Iron Man's favor, yet the movie managed to do amazingly well. Also we must not forget that after Hulk more or less failed, Iron Man was the first step towards Avengers and we all know how that turned out. Taking all of this into account, the Game of Box Office team rates Iron Man with the great A-. Our next video will either be an analysis about Inglorious Bastards or a forecast about The Hateful Eight or Spectre. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. We also appreciate your support on the social networks listed below. See you Friday for our short analysis of Iron Man. Bye bye.